What's up guys? It is Jordan from Kubark, and as you can see, I'm going to be doing a Fantasy Star Universe Let's Play, and joining me is Kyle. Hello. Uh, if anybody of you played PSU, you would know Kyle as Midorioku. I'm going to be doing the extra mode, making just a new character, and uh, what should I play, Kyle? What class do you want me to play? You know what I want you to play. You want me to play a Newman? Yes. Ah, very well then. I will make a Newman. Alright, let's see. We got human, Newman. There we go. Male or female? We're gonna go with a female. That would be a good choice. The female, do they have any bonus stats? Uh, more TP. TP. Technic points? Yep, mental strength, evasion, like the only, and more defense, by the way, which is actually really surprising. That's a good thing. Alright. I'm customizing eyelashes. Oh, look, I can make their ears go up, sideways, or at an angle. Let's see, what do I want to do? I'm going to put them sideways, because they look awesome. Hairstyle. Alright. Ooh, this one looks pretty good. Now, what are some things I should know as a Newman? Like, play styles, or what should I... What what weapons should I use? Like, wands or staffs? Or should I do a mixture of both? In the offline, I would just use wands. Wands? Over, and, okay. Unfortunately, there's no tech mags, so... Tech mags. Oh, yeah, I remember those. Alright, characters created. Let's pick the clothing here. Let's see, what do we want to do? Go with some black shoes here. <laughs> Alright, let's see, name. I'm gonna be original. What is? Oh, what's the original name? No, 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 like, what? What are you naming it? Kubarik Jordan. Oh. I told you I was going to be original. Well, I mean, I can't see you play right now, so, you know. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we got here. We got a Sabra and a Pistol Torrent. Alright. Hold on, I gotta save my game here. Now, when you played Master Force on the online version of Fantasy Star, what were what were the most powerful techniques? Pre-supplemental or post? Uh, I would say after supplement. Well, when the Great Digger at that point would probably be the best overall, but. It, w it just depends on the situation. Alright. So you said Limit Break Digga. Now, Limit Break Digga, that was when you could hit more than one spot with one Digga? Yes. Okay. Or, or more than one enemy. Okay, I see. Okay. I'm gonna go sell my clothing here to try to get some cash. So my character's gonna be nude for a little while. Sorry, kids. A wand. Do you not start out with one? No, you start out with a Sabra and a Pistol Tori. You don't even start off with a wand. <laughs> and you start out as a Force in the offline, correct? Yes. And it doesn't give you a wand. That's, no. That's retarded. Way to go, Sega. <laughs> Sagak. Yep. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try to buy a wand here. This guy sell one? How much guy? Oh wow! 
What about PAs? PAs? Yeah, they're all here. Well, no. As in, do you have any? Oh, I have a foy. You have foy, but it doesn't start you out with a wand. Yes, I have foy, but it doesn't start me off with a wand. Please come again. That's. I don't know what to say about that. I don't, think there any, I don't think there is anything you can say. Hey there, you want to have fun fighting level 10 enemies from the very start with just a saber. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, no! They don't even start you off with foy, at least I don't think they do. No, you, they don't. Never mind, I lied. Oh, okay. Okay, but what should I buy as a beginning spell? I've got all the fire spells, all the ice, all the lightning, brown, light, dark. Believe it or not, for the offline, buy Rafoe. Rafa Rafoe? Yep. A fire-based technique attacks enemies in front of the user with a powerful flame. Alright. That looks very retarded at level one. Thanks. Alright, let's use that. Okay, go well once you learn that, go into your uh to your PAs and tell me what the tech modifier is on that. The tech modifier? Uh-huh. Let me see what you mean by that. Go to my PAs, alright, let's do that. Like the percentage that it gives you. 411%. Okay. Just just to give you an idea of how ridiculously overpowered that is in the offline, dig up on the online at level 50, which was the max level, had a tech modifier of 310%. Jesus. Actually, believe it or not, I remember back when I played the story mode of this game, I ran through as Ethan with a with like a, a rod, and he was a force, and I used uh, Raph Bowie the whole game. Now that I think back to it. it that and G Digga are the most powerful spells in the old line. Alright. Now what would you suggest? Should I go to Param and do the free mission there, or should I do the linear line mission? Uh, linear line. Linear line? Alright. Headed there now. Hello, lady. You look a little blue. Alright. Evacuation. Let's do this. And are you solo, or do you have any, uh... NPCs with you? You know, I just thought about that. I forgot that I can invite NPCs. Uh, I don't have any with me, no. And you're gonna go through that with level 10 enemies? Uh, yeah. Alright then. We'll see what happens. I'll either fail epically... ...or prevail. I'll tell you what though, weapons in the offline do not have that much PP. No, they don't. I was just about to say, as soon as you can buy a B-rank armor, you're best bets to go buy a meat flick and a, a PP generate. Yep. Generating PP is a good thing. Yeah. Did that just go right over your head? No. Oh, okay. I, I... <laughs> These guys aren't too bad, actually. Oh god, ran out of, uh... Oh. When you're hitting them with, uh, you know, over 500% PA modifier at level 1, I, I would imagine so. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Oh, we've got Bioshock dudes over here. Big daddies. I always thought those guys looked like the dudes from Bioshock. The Dell Sabers? Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? In a way, yeah. I'm going two minutes and five seconds at the moment. Let's see. Penguins! Die, penguins, die! Oh no! I ran out of ammo again! Do you not have any photons?
Pokemon charges. You know, it would have been a good idea to buy those now that you think about it. But, no, I did not. So, we might be in a pickle here, kids. Let's see. Um... I missed. Wow, my aim is so bad right now with these spells. I'm popping off 150s and 160s with Ra Foey against these guys. Well, you figure, uh, stuff doesn't level up with you, so, you know, really, nothing's a challenge when you're max level, except the last mission in the game. Right. And... It's unfortunate that there's not the AOTI for the 360. Yeah, I know, that would be, that would be pretty good if there was ambition. Um, because then you could actually choose the different ranks and missions. Um, although at that point, like, I want to say the highest level enemies in the offline for AOTI on S rank is like level 130, and level cap and that's 200. So. Oh, yeah, see, they didn't make that very difficult. That's that's one reason why I'm excited for the offline mod. Yeah, you could. Uh, why don't you explain about that? Because a lot of people might be interested in that. Um. Basically, there's some mods being made for um, the offline AOTI for PC. Um, they're adding a lot of stuff, and already have added, you know, quite a few missions. And, uh, they're going to try and make it as close to the online game, on the offline, as possible. Uh, and what about, uh, lobbies? They're planning on adding lobbies, and what yes. about, are, are there any missions that were never released that they might be releasing? As far as I know, they're, uh, they're going to have lobbies, uh, if I remember correctly. Um... As for missions that weren't in the game, I don't know. I know they're adding a lot of the JPPSU server missions. Um, and they're, they're making a new synthing and grinding system, which I'm not exactly sure how that is, that's going to work. Didn't you, I don't know if you told me this or if I'm just making things up, but wasn't it going to be Masetta to upgrade? Uh, I, no. It's a new type of grinder that he's going to have drop by the leader. So he's actually creating new content altogether. In some ways, yes. That's cool. And do you have an estimate of when this is going to be released to the public? There's, there's no telling. He wanted to have it out by this March, but it's, you know, that's not happening. It, it could still be a while. I mean, there's still mods that you can download. Um, as of right now, you can have Seed Express in the offline, Beach Bum Beats. I always wanted to run that mission for some reason. Then again, I was, like, addicted to the Paracabana Coast for no apparent reason. And, um... Snowcap Screamer. Snowcap Screamer. As well as like adding in uh, Black Ness, Blade of Legacy, and Citadel of Sand, which those weren't Japanese only missions, but they were only available in the online, but they're now, you can play them in the offline, so it's pretty neat. 
Sounds good, man. Now, are they gonna... Are, is there any content? Oh, I beat the mission. Trial clear. Let's see what ranking I got. I got an S rank. Nice. 60 mission points. Masetta. Awesome stuff. I'm level 5 now. Nice. I got the linear line room decoration. I would go sell that. Yeah, I might. Actually, I will save my game right quick. I think you'll get 5,000 Masetta for that. That would be good. I could use that. Yeah, you can use a lot of the really good content at a low level. Weaponry and all sorts of stuff. Like, you can use, uh... I believe you can use a Haji Rod or something like that at, like, level 6 or 7, I believe, if I remember correctly. Uh... I don't know. The, the stats in the offline are different than the online, so... Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna buy... Photon charges. That's one thing I really do need. I wouldn't buy um, a rod for anything other than Nos Tech. So you you say use uh, wands throughout the game? For the most part, yes. Okay. Um, the reason why is because in the offline, uh, the rods don't have the twenty percent PA modifier boost that they do in the online. Um, and I'm, I'm not, I don't, I don't know if you knew this or not, but like the Rutsu had an extra 20%, but every rod, no matter what rod it was, starting with uh, AOTI, they made it to where they all had a 20% PA modifier boost to them. That way people would still be able to use them in certain situations over wands. Because, um, you know, if you had a wand that had, let's say, 600 TP and a rod that had 600 TP before that boost, there would be no point in using that rod over that wand just because the spells would do the same amount of damage. And then after that, they would have that 20% boost, so they would be doing more damage even though they still have the same amount of TP. Oh, okay. And that's, that's something else that he's adding into the offline with the mods as well. Sounds like good stuff, man. That's going to be an interesting, uh, that's going to be some interesting modding. Yeah, I've, I've enjoyed it so far. I, I can't wait for more to be released, but... Now, if you're interested in seeing some of the offline mods, I will. I have actually on the YouTube channel I featured Kyle's channel, which is Midorioku114, I believe. Am I correct? Yes. Uh, check out his videos over there because they are a lot of the offline mods, as well as uh, you know pulling out of the archives some Fantasy Star Online or Fantasy Star Universe online videos, which are really good to watch. Yeah. Not, not PSO. Yeah, I should have worded that differently. <laughs> I have one PSO video on there, but it's, uh, that will probably be the only one that will ever be on my channel. Yeah. Alright guys, we're going to take a quick break here. Check out the second part of this video, which should be right under this one. I'll see you guys on the next video.